Hello my dear students. So today I have gone through one important question uh, which I would like to discuss today. Uh, the reason I have selected this question for a video session is this question will teach us how to think, how not to think, how the examiner would try to confuse you with multiple things at one point. So <clears throat> this is from cardiology. This, uh, you have been given an elderly male who is a smoker for 40 to 45 years and he has been a heavy uh, smoker, chain smoker who is smoking around 50, 40 to 50 cigarettes per day consecutively and this patient now presented with shortness of breath which is progressive, progressive shortness of breath and he is not able to exercise like before, exercise intolerance with progressive shortness of breath. Uh, past history wise this patient has suffered from a myocardial infarction 4 years ago. This patient is on certain tablets number one is aspirin regularly number two is a proton pump inhibitor let it be anything listen uh, lanzoprazole lomiprazole pantoprazole whatever it is and then the patient is on a ace inhibitor and that is uh, captopril lisnopril whatever it is now other than this no other physical examination findings have been given in the question so you have been directly asked which laboratory test you would order for this patient to get to know what is going on with this patient to find out the diagnosis the options were surprising number one was complete blood count urea and electrolytes esr and the last one is bnp brain natriuretic peptide it's straight away question you can go for bnp in this question but that's not what the question probably is trying to tell you yes but this is bnp talks about heart failure we have to go from the question coming to the question elderly male who is a smoker for around 40 years a chronic smoker elderly male presenting with shortness of breath that to progressive shortness of breath you should always and always think of COPD so COPD is the first point that you need to know number two point this patient uh, is having exercise intolerance so that developed recently exercise intolerance so shortness of breath plus exercise intolerance in an elderly male you should think of cardiac failure and then this same presentation can also happen in cardiomegaly so exercise related problem cardiomegaly this can also happen in cardiomegaly so how to when you are given this question and you have been asked what is the diagnosis and if you have been given these three options you will be struggling to find out what is going on with the patient if you are not given any physical findings like this so in such case of a question you would be given physical findings and you would be expected to know what is going on with the patient uh, from the findings so that is why this question is very important so straight away what question have been asked your answer should be brain natriuretic peptide bnp undoubtedly but elderly patient who has had an mi now presenting with progressive shortness of breath the best option for him is going to be an echo not an bnp if that patient did not have an mi the best option is going to be bnp not an echo so this is the first MCQ that you need to know from this question. Number two, elderly male who is a chronic smoker, presents with progressive shortness of breath, not necessarily should have COPD all the time in your examination, in your MCQ. So if they have to tell you it's COPD, they have to tell you something very important about the smoking history and they have to stress you more on that smoking history and they would be telling about the x-ray findings in that patient or they would be giving you clue that this patient is on long term oxygen therapy and they would be talking about the saturation level of the patient which is a bit low and it has been maintaining for a long time so these kind of presentations would be given if it's a COPD again in COPD it's a emphysema or not chronic bronchitis so based on that direction your question would be going but I would like to talk about heart failure. This question directly said, do a BNP, it's a heart failure. So talking about the heart failure, what clues they should have given is bi-basal crepitations, number one, pulmonary edema. So 
pulmonary edema by basal repetitions is something that you should expect in that question pulsatile liver that is tender hepatomegaly which is pulsatile liver you should expect that that should be uh, a regurgitation that should show elevated jvp these are the points you should expect in heart failure patients so that is very important why is heart failure very strong in this question is because exercise intolerance so that is very important so something that he developed now which he used to do before means he is developing a heart failure now okay second is mi that has happened four years ago so i told already mi happened four years ago means the best test to do for this patient is going to be an echo not an bnp so surprisingly when i saw this question i was expecting echo in that option but that was not there so always look for an echo that is very important if it's not there then look for bnp now coming to the bnp BNP is not only elevated brain natriuretic peptide it's not only elevated in heart failure even in kidney failure even in obese patients um, BNP could be high so that point also you should not forget then coming to cardiomegaly if they have to tell you it's cardiomegaly if they have to tell you it's cardiomegaly they have to tell you that this patient is having S3 it's a heart sound third heart sound okay third heart sound and murmur so third out sound is a word that you should be looking for in this question so this question tells you don't directly see that smoking history smoking history is there yes don't directly see that mi yes he has suffered from mi this question talks about how to approach a question in different ways and you would learn i hope you would learn a lot from this question thank you